Hey, what's up? Hey, guess the mode. Ah. Dorian. Nice. Mixolydian. Wow, impressive. Phrygian. That's right. Yeah. Okay, I really want you to learn the modes. It's probably the next thing you want to learn after the pentatonics. And you have been playing them all the time, because most songs are written in a certain mode. So realizing the notes you're playing really helps you recognizing the mode used in that riff, song or solo. If this is all new for you, I suggest you look into the major scale and see how that is constructed. The seven modes we're discussing can be best seen as follows. Say we've got the G major scale, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. A song in a certain mode will be based on a particular note, with that note feeling as a home and often ending on that note. The G feels as home and every note played is connected to that note. But what if you start playing that same scale from A? Now we've got the same notes but in a different order. Now A feels as home and every note played is connected to that note. So G Ionian shares the same notes as A Dorian. So why play one or the other? Well technically they sound the same and if you were to play the scales just up and down you wouldn't hear a difference. But who plays scales just up and down? It's all about what notes you want to emphasize and what chords you're playing over. You could say that when you look at the harmonized major scale, each chord has its own mode. The major first is Ionian, the minor second is Dorian, the minor third is Phrygian, and so on. So understanding the relation between scale degrees and modes is essential and very important for soloing over chord changes. So here are seven awesome riffs, each riff in a different mode. So we start with the first one, Ionian. This one is also known as the major scale. So we could have picked songs like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but I used the verse riff of Crazy Train. This riff is played in the key of A Ionian because it only uses notes of the A major scale. This riff is built upon the one, the five, and the four chord of A. Oh, and by the way, downloadable tabs for everything I am playing are available at my Patreon page. The second mode is Dorian, and this riff is played in E Dorian. It's always on the run by Lenny Kravitz. Dorian is just a minor scale with a raised 6, a note that gives Dorian its character. Used a lot in funk, blues or jazz, and very common in pop music as well. Probably the best mode to try to master after minor and major. The third mode is Phrygian, maybe a little less common, but basically it's just a minor mode with a flat 2. A lot of metal riffs use this mode for a basis for their riffs. I choose Wherever I May Roam by Metallica. Played in E Phrygian, listen to the half step between E and F and the sound that is giving that.
mode is Lydian, just a major scale with a raised 4. The sharp 4 can be quite a dissonant note, so it's difficult to stop Lydian from feeling it needs to resolve to its relative Ionian mode, but it's working nicely in this example. Fifth degree, we've got Mixolydian. Also called the dominant scale because it fits perfectly over a dominant seven chord. It's just major with a flattened seven. A very bluesy sound, but also very common in jazz, pop, and rock. For this mode, I've chosen About to Crash Reprise by Dream Theater. A bluesy riff in the key of E with some very obvious Mixolydian touches. <laughs> The sixth one is Aeolian, or just natural minor. The riff I chose for this mode is Ain't Talking About Love by Van Halen. This riff is made up of three chords, basically an A minor, F and a G. So it touches all the notes of A Aeolian with those three chords. <laughs> Mode is low career. With every note flattened except for the fourth, it's difficult to write an appealing riff in this mode. So Locrian is probably the least used mode of the seven. And I didn't know too many songs in the mode Locrian, so I'm very happy with the strokes that they wrote the song Juice Box. Here it is. So you made it till the end, I'm very proud of you. Once you start thinking about modes and knowing when to play which one, your playing is gonna benefit greatly from it. It's useless to practice modes just up and down, it's all about the context. Learn the theory behind the modes so you know exactly when to use which one. And that will make your playing so much more tasty and colorful. And above all, don't be scared, they exist to make playing more fun and easier, not harder and more annoying. Have fun playing and I hope this video will get you to do some more research about this stuff. Because it's fun, trust me. Have a great day all and I'll see you next time, bye.